construction industry is going through some very exciting changes right now. Every project that we go after, you've got to come up with a lot of great new ideas. We finished up the last phase, the tower expansion in the medical office building here three years ago. And the owner of the University of Colorado Hospital told us congratulations that we had raised the bar, but came with a warning that on the next phase, whether it was us or someone else, we were going to have to raise the bar again. And so that was the challenge that he set out for us. The schedule was extremely stringent. The hospital has a desperate need for beds right now, and so they challenged us. To meet that schedule, we had to come up with some innovative ideas. It drove us to challenge ourselves with coming up with a design approach to accelerate our schedule. We came across the idea of uh, multi-trade, multi-discipline prefabrication, and we were very fortunate to have good partners in this. They saw the benefit of it. Every mechanical contractor, electrical contractor for the past several years has been doing their own prefabrication at their shop. This project, the challenge early on was to take it to that next level and bring the mechanical, the electrical, the fire protection, the drywaller, to bring all of these entities together. We're standing outside Hazelden's 50,000 square foot prefabrication warehouse where we're constructing 300 head walls, 144 bathrooms, over 2,000 linear feet of corridors. Let's take a look inside. The best way to meet the difficult project schedule was to look into prefabrication. One of our biggest benefits is our uh, head wall systems. We've got eight stations here where we can build on both sides. HDR Architecture worked with us on getting the bathroom pod size. We can build them with the jigs a lot quicker in the warehouse than we could actually on site. And they're all exactly the same. So for the framing, it's a lot easier to do it in a warehouse in a controlled environment than uh, it is out on site. Most important thing in regards to putting together this multi-trade prefab was getting the buy-in. The subcontractor interview process was heavily weighted on their willingness and abilities to participate with our prefabrication efforts out here. I think they all accepted it with open arms and, and knew that that was what, was what it was going to take to be able to, to get 700,000 square feet complete in 22 months. First element of, of creating any kind of prefabrication is, is the design process. With the use of virtual software, we're able to get a bill of materials extracted out of the model that is verbatim of what we need to build. The use of the prefab modules was a way for us to do much of the work off-site. Traditionally, you would have the framers building the walls, the electricians and mechanical contractor roughing in right behind. So we've taken a lot of that away from what we would have for congestion on the site and been able to work more efficiently in a controlled environment and then ship it out complete to where you've got single point connections on what we're sending to the field. Typically, when you rough in a set of head walls, it takes multiple weeks for all trades to go through. I've seen 14 of these things go in in one day. I mean, that's impressive when you look at that kind of quality and that kind of quantity as well. In the warehouse, we are a lot more efficient. The quality control is tremendous with this type of building construction. We have the inspector come out and inspect each one of these before it leaves the warehouse. It benefits us that we get to see the uh, product inspected before it's installed, and then after it's installed, we inspect it again. It's a controlled environment. It can rain or snow out there, and, and we'll be in here. It's all nice, a good working temperature. Our safety is top notch out here. The use of you know open flame brazing um, is much better done here in the in the warehouse. By taking this off site with the design and the construction of these walls and the bathroom pods and the rack systems, we've pulled all of that forward to where we're building it before it's ready for the project. The casters help us move it from each station, so it moves from the stud framing over to the electrician station. So it's an assembly line. At Hazelden, we're combining a lot of manufacturing techniques with our traditional construction techniques. Once the corridors are completed, we deliver them to the site on the back of a flatbed trailer. Then the crane lifts them onto a landing pad where they are wheeled into place. Once the uh, racks are hung, it's a matter of a few connection points between them. What typically took us months to work on in these corridors is now just taking a matter of days. Another great value of a process like this is the sustainability factor. 
the prefabrication process has minimized waste at the warehouse as well as on site. Construction debris is one of the highest factors that go into our landfills in the United States and, and a process like this honestly reduces waste. What you get is a higher quality product because you're building it in a controlled environment, less congestion, less men actually in the warehouse, which also yields less men in the field, which is a key element in maintaining safety and quality control. What I didn't expect was the camaraderie of all the different trades. They're all in it together. Through the prefabrication process, the overall product becomes essentially better. We're looking at improved quality, we're looking at improved safety, we're looking at uh, an improved overall schedule time frame. When you look at the advantages that we've come up with on this with the prefabrication and controlled environment, we're doing it better and faster and safer. You don't get hired on your last great idea, you get hired on your next great idea. So with that in mind, this is has spurred a lot of conversation and a lot of ideas of what we've done with this and what we can move, do moving forward on the next project.